Hi everyone, it's Alexa J and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm just gonna talk a little bit about anxiety and um, just kind of like the things I've been like dealing with lately because I've had just had a lot of anxiety lately and I just, I need to like vent and um, just kind of like rant a little bit. I'm sure there's many of you out there who are also dealing with anxiety and um, I just want you to know you're not alone. So um, yeah. I don't even know where to begin. Um, I literally just filmed this before. And I don't know why, but I guess my microphone wasn't working. But there was like this like weird ticking noise. And I'm like, why every time do I go to film? Does it have to be like a weird background noise? Because usually it's my refrigerator making noise. And it goes off for like a half an hour. So if I want to film, I have to like literally wait. And I waited, just filmed a 20 minute video. And then anyway, we're, we're like rambling. We're getting off track. Anyway. Um, we're not going to get anxious to worry about it. <laughs> so yeah, so today I just want to talk a little bit about anxiety and being anxious because I have definitely been experiencing a lot of that lately. Um, I think just with all of the change going on in my life, you know, I think, you know, having lost a job, um, you know, losing a family member, um, you know, and then, you know, I'm having my gender confirmation surgery in two months actually like slightly less now, which I can't even believe. I'm like, oh my gosh, like it's happening. Um, so I think I just, you know, I'm anxious about a lot of those things and I'm noticing a lot of my anxiety is happening at night. Um, I did kind of have like a, like a little spell last night and this morning where I just, I felt like my chest was like super tight and like heavy and like, I felt like my breathing was just like, it was almost like it was like hard to breathe and like, like, I almost felt like I might pass out, kind of, like, just very almost kind of lightheaded. And I just had to, like, breathe and tell myself, you're fine. It's anxiety. You're just anxious. Like, you have, you know what I mean? You're safe. You're fine. Um, and I really hate that. And then I have to, like, you know, I at least, like, call my friends because it, it definitely helps to, like, talk to people. Um, and I think I'm going to, like... I don't know, I just wanted to film because I was like, I'm feeling anxious and I kind of just have been wanting to like film and talk about it a little bit. I think I'm gonna go run around. It's supposed to be really, really nice out today. And so um, I'm gonna like go outside and go for a little walk. Cause sometimes if I'm feeling anxious in my personal space, it's nice to like go out. Um, Cause if you know me, I'm a very like extroverted person. Um, I have very like introverted tendencies, but I'm primarily a very extroverted person. I like to be around people and um, I like I'm not socially awkward. I love social events and stuff. Um, but, you know, I can definitely like, experience anxiety. And so, you know, if I'm in my house and feeling anxious, I'll go out. And if I'm out and feeling anxious, I'll come back home and be alone. Um, so, yeah, I think just all of those things, I think, have been like adding up to my anxiety. And I worry a lot and I'm really like always concerned about like my health and like well-being and that and sometimes I just get like overwhelmed and I think you know oh my god like something's wrong like uh, or worry wart it drives me crazy but you know um I like first started realizing that I had anxiety or I was at least starting to experience anxiety back in like high school so this was probably 10 years ago at this point I'm 25 I don't know, I was probably about 15 or so. I remember it was junior year of high school was when I really like, like encompassed a lot that year. I really, like for the first time, I like couldn't get in front of my peers and like talk. And like, I've never really had a problem being in front of the class, I'd get nervous. But this was like, I was shaking and sweating and my heart was racing and I like felt like I couldn't breathe. And I just felt like everything was like crumbling in on me and like, mm, it would freak me out. Um, and I'd never like, experienced that before. Um, it was also the same year that I had like really come out about my my like sexual orientation. Um, so at this point then, I wasn't out as trans yet. So like I, I was like realizing that, or at least accepting the fact that I, you know, liked guys. Um, so like I was still identifying like as a, gay male at that time in my life um and my first like really big like anxiety attack happened 
um, senior year. It was senior year, so like a year after that. Um, I had been, like, I had just gotten into, like, my first, like, serious relationship with this guy I really liked, and it started causing a lot of tension between my friends, um, and I was always in a lot of stuff in high school. Like, I, you know, I was in the arts, I was in the band, you know, I was in the art honors program, music honors program, I was in the honors program for my school, so, like, I was involved in a lot of academic things, a lot of volunteer work with the art program and the honor society, um, I was in like marching band, symphonic band, concert band. I did um, the orchestra as well. Played clarinet, by the way. So, hi, um, woodwinds fans out there. Um, if you played an instrument, um, I still like to play it sometimes. Um, but I think I was just like on overload. You know, there was a lot of drama happening um, within my like friend group, and I just I was starting to fall out of love with band at the time and like I you know like I said I had just had a new relationship and I just I I don't know I like wanted to be able to go to the football games and not be performing having to do all this stuff I mean band was like a lot I mean it was a lot mentally and like physically and emotionally and like I said then you know now when you like you know you're like still at a point where you're very like much figuring yourself out and like I said I was in a new relationship and it was drama with my friends and between my friends and relationships so you know, and for some reason, I, like, internally was, like, uncomfortable kind of, like, being in front of people a lot. And, like, um, you know, it just all, like, combined. And um, I remember the first football game that we were supposed to have um, of my senior year, um, like, our first performance and stuff. I just, I don't know, I got in a huge fight with my friends. There was conflict between my boyfriend and my friends at the time. And I just, I snapped. I don't know, like, what broke in me, but, like... I just like could not breathe. I started like hyperventilating. Like I just, you know, like my heart was racing. I couldn't stop crying. And like my fingers like went numb. I think like my tongue, like it was all like tingling. My legs, like my knees felt like locked into place. You know, my friends was like at the time kind of like blew it off. Like, oh, like you're just, you're just upset. Like, what do you, you know what I mean? And I know like I physically couldn't. My mom and my aunt came to pick me up. And they had never seen me like that before and they knew something was like not right um so that's when i finally went to the doctors for it and i did get prescribed um a medicine for it i believe it was set sertraline or sertraline however you say it um so i was on that actually for probably then like four years um because then my i think it might have been like my junior year of college was when i was just like I wanted to try to go off of it because at this time then I was a lot more comfortable with myself. I was in an environment I felt comfortable and safe. I was now at an art college and so I, you know, felt more comfortable being around people and I could express myself more so. You know, there was still something inside that like was uncomfortable but I was more comfortable if that makes any sense. Like it just felt safer and um, so I decided, you know what, like let's let's try to like battle the anxiety without like medication I started um getting influence from a lot of like friends around me that were really into like health my best friend at the time actually she's still my best friend shout out to you Steffi Gora um <laughs> I can't believe I just said that whatever she's gonna hate me um but no she was really into health and that really like inspired me and I just you know I was like oh like I kind of want to you know try a new diet and that's how I started eating like a plant-based diet at the time too um, and I just really got concerned with my health and my well-being. And I was like, you know what? I want to go off this medication. I want to try to conquer it on my own. Um, and it did good for a while. Um, but then, you know, I could tell then, like, once I realized, oh, my God, like, okay, I am transgender. Like, this is, this is what the anxiety is, like, still brewing about is this gender dysphoria now. I'm, like, once I started doing research and could get... A perspective on like what was probably like what was happening and I had vocabulary for it and definitions and I could you know what I mean I could piece it together because um, once I started hormones um, it really did help it helped a lot with like just like my anxiety because now I was starting to see changes in my body which really helped my confidence which lowered anxiety and because um, now I'm not as anxious to talk in front of people I'm a lot more social I'm a lot more like you know I can go to the, the club and I'm right in the middle of the dance floor you know I can kind of just go up and introduce myself to people and um I think also finding 
creative outlets that I'm really good at, like makeup and stuff, which has been very therapeutic for me. Um, and like painting and stuff. Well, I've always been a painter, um, but I don't know. Now doing makeup and stuff, I don't know. It was just very like therapeutic and it still is. Um, and so I started finding more outlets and that, that were helping me out. But there's definitely just been more of an increase in that anxiety. And I know a lot of it was from a really unhealthy work relationship that I was in very, very recently. And, um, you know, it, it's toxic and it becomes hard to deal with things, you know, when you're dealing with personal stuff when, and then, you know, and then like a work environment's hard to be in. It's, you know, it's, it's very stressful. It causes a lot of anxiety. And when you're also going through such a deep and like physically, mentally, emotional process and like journey at the same time, like, it's like a lot, it's a lot. You know, I mean, ugh. you know, but you got to gain some to lose some and lose some to then gain some again. So, um, you know, it's a process, it's a journey. Um, but I just, I've definitely just been feeling kind of anxious lately. I just, I don't know. I feel so lonely sometimes and it, it gets me like worked up and then sometimes I think something's wrong with me and like I, then I panic a little bit and. I don't know, but some of these like panic episodes are a little weird. I think they're a little bit more panic episode kind of than like anxiety or maybe they're just all anxiety. I don't know, but I don't know. I don't like it. It like really stresses me out and I know I'm not the only one. Like I know there's other people out there that are like experiencing this stuff. Um, and so that's why like I just want to like share, share this today and just talk because it just, it's, it's nice to just talk, you know? Um, also, I hope you guys like my makeup look today. I did the, um, freckles again. I really, I'm enjoying them. I like them a lot. They make me happy. Yay. Um, I feel like someone's, like, out in the hallway. And they're probably wondering why I'm, like, shouting in here. Because these apartments, like, it's, you can, like, hear, like, your neighbors. Like, you can hear people, like, talking, like, from like the hallway you can hear people like talking you can hear music i'm like scared to talk so, okay someone's definitely out there whatever <laughs> what do they do like it sounds like someone's literally just standing there like not doing anything whatever we're not gonna worry about it anyway so yeah. Oh, wonderful. It's the person cleaning the floor. So now we're going to run the vacuum cleaner. So I'm sure you probably hear that now. I just love all the distractions trying to film. Like, can we not? Anyway. Anyway. So yeah, if you're feeling anxious and stuff too, I'm right there with you. You know, drop some comments below. Let me know if you're feeling the same way or things that you do to help with your anxiety. You know, I do some like breathing techniques. Um, sometimes I just literally have to like just put some music on or sometimes even just sitting there in silence and like talking to myself helps or to call someone or, you know, to do makeup. That really helps me too. Um, yeah. Anxiety's crazy, you know, it's really, it's rough. But we all experience it, you know, we all experience it at times. And like, no wonder, like, you know, we live such a like busy, like type of lifestyle these days that like, no wonder we're all like running around like chickens with our heads cut off, not knowing what to do next, you know? And all this like pressure on, you know, having to look and act certain ways and stuff. <sighs> I feel like, you know what I mean? But yeah, I just worry too much too. That's the cancer in me. I, for all of you astrology people out there, if you're interested in astrology, I'm not like obsessed with astrology, but I do really like astrology. I think it's really fun to, I don't know, it's fun to like read about and learn about. And I think it is interesting. Um, but for anyone who's interested, I am a cancer sun. I'm a Virgo rising and a Capricorn moon. So I'm very, very down to earth. 
Um, but I'm very like, I can be very insecure in my emotions sometimes, but then, but then I'm very like grounded and you know, I don't know. And then like the Virgo in me, I think is, you know, why I, you know, get so like worried about like my health and like, you know, Virgos a lot of times are very much about like the well being of things. So yeah, I don't know. Then I get moody because I get crabby. So if you, if you know me, you know that I get crabby. I get hangry, that's for one. And then I get moody, especially like if I'm hot or if I'm tired. But other than that, I'm a sweetheart. And I'm fun to be around. I am fun to be around, I'm a fun energy. Yeah, all right, so I think that's like it for today's video. I just, um, I'm already feeling more relaxed just having like talked to you guys. So um, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe, leave some comments below, like. Um, you can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter at um, XO, Alexa, JXO. I can't talk today. Um, yeah, all of that will be like down in the um, description box. So yeah. Just feels good to like sit and chit chat. It's really helpful. But like I said, the sun is out and it's beautiful and so kind of early in the day. So I think I'm gonna go take a nice walk um, and um, get some fresh air, fresh air. Fresh air is always good, especially if you're feeling anxious. But I, but I know how it is to like feel anxious, especially like as a trans woman, like being dysphoric and stuff too sometimes. It's like, sometimes it's just like crippling to even think about going out. Like you're just like, mm, you know, like you're just like, oh my God, like someone's gonna know I'm trans. And I just, I don't know, like sometimes it's just, I don't know, like sometimes it's not even just what other people are gonna think, but like you, just within yourself, you're just like, oh my God, like I'm uncomfortable to step outside right now. But then sometimes it's uncomfortable to be sitting at home. Like it is now, like I'm literally like, in shorts, like I don't have like pants on, I have like, you know, I have like comfy shorts on, but sometimes even just to like sit at home, it's like uncomfortable to like sit there and you're just like, mm, you know, I don't know. Yeah, gender dysphoria is real, y'all. I think I'm gonna do a video on like my experiences with gender dysphoria because, um, I don't know, I think it's just important for people to know whether you're trans or whether you're not. I think it's just, you know, like to, you know, everyone just like experiences it in different ways and like stuff. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do a video on that. Also, please excuse the vacuum. Like really, I'm praying that you can't really hear it. I'm trying to talk really loud. So if you have headphones on, I'm really sorry. Um, I'm sure the person vacuuming is so sorry too, but I think they always like vacuum around this time of day. I don't know. I don't know. Now that I've had more free time, I'm really trying to figure out like, okay, when does the refrigerator run? Like when does that start its ticking thing? When does this person run this vacuum cleaner? Like, you know, it's like I have to like time everything out. And if you know me, like I, mm, me and time, like, I just can't. Here we go on my, like, tangents of time. I don't know. I like to do something when I want to do something. So, yeah. I can be a little impatient at times. But, okay, we're getting way off topic from anxiety. But, yeah, I hope you liked my little rant. Um, my little event session about anxiety. Just know you're not alone. Um, and that it will be... But, it, you know, it'll be okay. And, you know, you can conquer anxiety. You can do it. You got this. And, you know, if you are on medication for it, don't feel that, like, you need to, like, go off medication or anything like that. I'm just, you know, everyone, everyone deals with it on different levels and everyone deals with it a different way. So, um, you know, um, do what is best for you. That's all. Yeah, just do what's best for you. And um, know there's people out there like me that are here to share my story and, you know, hope it brings some comfort to you as well. So thank you so much for watching. Um, please subscribe. Like, I think I already said all that. But, yeah, do all that. And I will see you all next time. Bye.